Let me show you how to quickly deploy a host with Common IT and manage its configuration. The first thing is to log in to your Common IT dashboard. I have already defined my Amazon EC2 platform and I've already installed a CentOS 6.3 distribution in my account, but I don't have any applications. So I go in the application store where I can browse for the featured but also the community shared application. In this case, I get the WordPress application. It's now installed and available in my account. So I can deploy a host with WordPress. Click Add button. It's going to be a simple blog. Next step is to select my platform. Here I need to configure some Amazon specific settings like the SSH key pair on security groups. Then I select the distribution I want to install on that host. I can then customize the configuration of my basic host, for example by adding my WordPress application and changing some configuration settings, like the username and password. When I click on provision, Common IT will contact Amazon EC2 to create the instance, set up my CentOS operating system and install my WordPress block. After a couple of minutes the machine is ready, so I can just get its public um, host name. And we can see that a blog has been successfully deployed for me. Now I may want to change some elements of the configuration of my blog, like changing the blog title. I simply add a setting to override the default value and put a new blog title. So when, when I click OK, Common IT will interact with my uh, virtual machine to make the required changes so that the machine and the blog match the new configuration inside Common IT. The title has been successfully updated. So we really recommend our users to manage their environment through Common IT and not to make changes by hand on live systems anymore. For example, here I'm going to use SSH to go on the host and I'm going to go change manually a configuration file. So let's change the host name of uh, the WordPress database server. Now you should not do that because that kind of change is not tracked in Common IT and actually you can sometimes make some errors. So in this case the database is unreachable. Now the good news is that Common IT is actually tracking all these resources under its management. And it will directly alert you and tell you that that file is not compliant anymore. And you can ask Common IT to revert the file to its correct state. My block is online again. This is what we call the compliance monitoring, which is built in Common IT. We also have the auditing, which means that every action you take through Common IT is logged. You know who has done which change on your host. So this wraps our very first demo of Common IT. We have plenty of other screencasts explaining you how these applications, distribution and platform are made and how you can use Common IT to migrate from one place to another. Please check them out. Thank you very much.